In this section, we will be looking at how to squeeze and unsqueeze or expand numpy arrays. This is the last section of pivoting arrays. Squeezing arrays means reducing the dimensions. This is given that we achieve a particular condition. This condition is that the axes we are trying to draw or squeeze should have a value of one. This makes sense since if the value of the axis is greater than one, we can't really drop it. The product of the shape before and after the squeezing remains the same. The overall size of the array, that means. Here, we have started by creating a dummy array of size four by one by five. As we can see, we have purposefully in inserted uh, an axis whose value is one over here. So this, uh, the output of this array is basically we have this extra layer of brackets over here because we have specified this axis of one. Sometimes we have an array that is not near that extra dimension. In this case, we basically have four batches, each with one row of five elements. So here we can see two arrays. The inner array has five elements. The outer array has only one element. And that one element is basically an array of five elements. This is the case for all of the four batches as we can see. We might as well convert this to a 2D array of four rows and five columns by dropping this axis of value one. This can be done by using this np dot squeeze method where we pass the array to be squeezed and the output is going to be your squeezed array. So as we can see here, we've lost this one extra layer of uh, brackets in this and this. Uh, apart from that, the output of the squeeze function is very similar to the original array, except the extra layers of brackets that we can see in the original array. So we basically remove the one of the outer layers to give us a four by five array. Here we've only reduced uh, one axis. We can squeeze multiple axes as well. Here I've created a dummy array of size one by four by one by five. And again, if we pass this array, to the np dot squeeze function, it will basically remove all the unit length axes. So it will convert this one by four by one by five array to a four by five array. But care has to be taken that we cannot squeeze an array where not even one of the dimension has a unit length. So uh sometimes probably i i might be facing an issue where um i have this original array of size one by four by one by five but i want the output to have a shape of one by four by five so i don't want to drop this uh this axis of unit length in this case we can specify the axis value where you want which you want to drop in the np dot squeeze function. So over here, I have passed the original array q, and I've also specified the axis along which I want to drop the, uh, the axes. So this gives me an output of size one by four by five. Let's look at unsqueezing or expanding numpy arrays now. This is exactly opposite to what we've seen right now we will be adding a new axis at a certain position. We can also add multiple axes by inserting the axes on which we want to add uh, in a tuple. Let's see what I mean by this. I've created a random um, array, a dummy array of size four by five, which can be seen here. 
and now we want to expand the unsqueeze it or expand it uh, by creating an array of size 4 by 1 by 5. So what this will do is it will add an extra layer of brackets in the original array. So as we can see, after these, outside of these two brackets, we'll get another set of brackets after using the expand dims function. So this expand dims function will be passing the original array along with the axis position where you want to add that extra dimension of unit length. So after doing this, this uh, y1 will have a shape of 4 by 1 by 5 and it will have this extra layer of brackets which we originally did not have. We can also insert uh, extra dimensions at variable locations. So I have an original array of size 4 by 5 and I want to add dimensions at two positions at the zeroth position and at the second position. So uh, we know that the indexing starts at zero in NumPy. So this will have an index of zero. This is one, two, and three. And that is why, that, that is why sorry, when I uh, specify the axis as zero and two, it will insert an extra dimension at the zeroth position and at the second position. And this will give us an extra layer over here as well. And after this entire array is done, we'll also get an extra braces over here. So this will give us the resultant array of shape one by four by one by five. So this was squeezing and unsqueezing NumPy arrays. And this brings us to the end of pivoting NumPy arrays. Uh, that's all for this section. Thank you, guys.